So there's a guy called Ken Wilber who came up with integral theory who said what elements are present here anyway, if we're saying what's real, what's here, so that my pathology is, is not that I'm ignoring something that's here that's real, okay, because I'm not aware of it, but I'm ignoring it. So he said we need a map or a, a framework that says at least these things are here, okay. So the elements of integral theory is um, quadrants, levels, lines, states, types. So I'm not going to go into the whole theory, I'm just going to talk about states. Waking state, which we're in now, dream state, deep sleep state. So we all pass through those states 24 hours. Now the waking state is uh, correlated with the gross mind. So that's a physical floor, that's a physical floor, that's a physical street, this is a physical body. So all those things make up the gross realm. Okay. Now, when I go into dream, which is subtle state, there's no physical body. There's no physical world. It's dream body, dream world, dream, dream figures. And this subtle realm has no, you can't find a limit in it, huh? So when we go soft and it's subtle, we can't pin it down as something. You with me? We enjoy the subtlety. Now think of a ballad sung softly and you're lulled by the ballad, you know. Then think of Barnsey screaming working class man, you know. There's not much subtlety there. It doesn't make it bad. You see what I'm saying? So when we get into these things, don't don't try and pin it down. Just let the scope and possibility that's there, like let it be your exploration. Okay, now I'll just say one last thing because it's to do with the state. So when we go into deep sleep, there's no organised phenomena. There's nothing there. Now guess which part of our states is the most restful and peaceful? Deep sleep, there's no disturbance. Our Western culture can't understand that. What do you mean there's nothing there? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But when you wake up in the morning and you say you slept well, that's the time you had with no, nothing agitating the space, which was the peace. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, if you don't have to jump up, there's a perfume there that's the after effects of sleep. If you can be in that, not once, but regularly, you, start, you actually start to be able to access it in the waking state. Because it's not, it, it's not disappearing. It's just not able to be seen, felt, touched, tasted, etc. Okay, make sense. You don't, we don't talk about this stuff much, but to me, it's essential to know how to live well. Because otherwise, I'm reducing my life to the gross waking state. Yeah. yeah. And so. Um, reflecting, contemplating, taking your time, being patient, all of these sort of terms have to do with, I don't have to rush, I don't have to, you know. And you've got to see how it acts on you and see if you do better, you know what I mean? So, Jackson, when we did this, ah, uh, you know, full on, that's gross. Ah, uh, I can just be here and I'm strong. Now, if he does something, I might have to do something, but right now I'm just watching, you know. And we have to see how it acts on us. If you can do that on a footy field, you'll have two to four times as much time as the bloke who's rushing because he hasn't got options.